rock stars, roadies, or groupies were harmed in the making of this broadcast. Giving it to you straight and no chaser. This is On the Rocks with Jamie Wilson. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to On The Rocks. I'm Jamie Wilson, and thank you for joining us tonight. Tonight, um, well, actually, it's tomorrow, technically, if you were going to go uh, very specifically on the day. But we just realized that we're celebrating one year of On The Rocks. That's 43 episodes in and uh, a whole bunch of amazing guests, some funny times, some weird times, some great stories. And, hey, thanks for tuning in, and thanks for supporting us. That's a whole year. Um, that we've been doing this and here's to many more because it's a lot of fun let me tell you and tonight we got a great episode because we're going to be talking to talking to uh, some people who are the unsung heroes of the musical landscape uh heroes I, my personal heroes because they are responsible for making a good song sound great but before we get to our guests just a few announcements from offshore music and amori just released her lyric video for oh bleeding hearts and it's available on her youtube channel and on offshore's instagram profile elisa marie has also just released her music video for five minutes on the offshore music channel which just premiered today at 6 p.m so please do check it out check out their whole roster of artists and please you know just keep on discovering new music because there's so much out there that you know it's you it's not possible to discover them all but it's such an amazing journey to continue to discover new original filipino music now we'd like to thank buenos dias panaderia and misty mountain cafe thank you so much for supporting us for year uh premium blend coffee with the milo buns the perfect milo buns it's a great combination it's just happiness in my mouth it's it's just you know, it, it, if, if you're feeling down on a day that um, that is, you know, particularly difficult for you to get through. Believe me, this gets me through my day. So thank you so much. And of course, from our friends from Liquor.ph, if you didn't know already, Michter's American Whiskey has officially landed back in the Philippines. That's right. Michter's is back and found its way to its exclusive new home on liquor.ph yes the whiskey you saw on the show billions jessica jones and master of none they have a rye a bourbon a sour mash and hey check out what i'm drinking tonight man it's the unblended american whiskey and it's amazing it's it tastes so good and let me tell you if you drink it you know if you drink it will you feel like a billionaire no but you might feel like a million bucks maybe maybe but you will definitely enjoy every sip until the last drop don't be fooled by other websites guys liquor.ph is the official exclusive importer of mictors man so thank you so much to our friends for supporting us 43 episodes in man and in our 43rd episode we have some amazing amazing people that you never see that you never hear but they're directly responsible for some of the more amazing music that you have had the pleasure of listening to and i'm talking about our wonderful sound engineers and these guys i have worked with a few of these guys um and they are just amazing because like i said earlier they are directly responsible for making a good song sound great so let's bring them on ladies and gentlemen from this is where i make music please welcome jr habla hello hello Hey, JR, how you doing? Good, good. All right, thanks for coming on to the show. Let's bring on our other guests, okay? From Crow's Nest Studios and her first time 
on the show instead of just running the show from behind the scenes. This is Ms. Hamburns herself, Audrey Jonisha. <laughs> Hi, James. Hey, Ud. Welcome to the show. Finally, we have you on. So strange. It's a strange <laughs> feeling. <laughs> all right. And then all the way from Sagada, from Woomworks Audio, Mr. Patman Tirano. Hey, Patman. Oh, nakamute ka, Patman. <laughs> Yan. How you doing, Pat? Si nakakaingit oh naka 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 sweater naka sweater si Patman nakakaingit oh kasi malamig sa sagada eh 17 degrees oh sarap and of course last but not least our guest is the legendary man from Track Studios he is a legend believe me this guy is responsible for more good sound than you have been alive to hear ladies and gentlemen please welcome Angie Razul Hello. Hey, Angie. How are you? Nice, man. Pag matanda yung intro, eh, no? Hindi <laughs> 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 naman, pare. Legend is legend, no matter what age you are. Wala, man. Actually, Thanks for having us. Actually, Angie, you look younger now than when we last worked with each other. Talaga? Wow. Parang bumata ka. Yung, Thank you. Yung, yung huli natin, yung ano, eh, yung nag-live tayo for um, Ellie Night at the Theater. Yeah, Soler. Uh, Soler, oh, uh, 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 Resorts uh, World. World. Yeah. Resorts World. And uh, pareho tayo, siguro. Ngarag tayo kasi maikli lang yung setup natin eh. Tapos oh, open nga. house na. <laughs> Oo oh, nga. Oh, nga. Actually, And, di ba, parang yun yung start ng time na may nakikita na akong naka-face mask sa, oh, sa event. Oh, that's yun. true. Paumpisan na yun eh. Paumpisan, Paumpisan na. na. Oh, I'm so glad we actually got that show done and then siguro two yeah. weeks after that yeah. nag-lockdown na oh yun, yun, yun. so guys yeah. i want to i want to find out how you guys doing doing during the lockdown angie kamusta ka during the lockdown tagal na more than a year na so medyo yeah. naka, nakabawi na tayo ng konti pero mm-hmm. kamusta naman okay naman um kumbaga iba yung perspective ko eh sabi may mga natutunan din akong bago eh. so alam mo yun uh, Siguro April last year may pumasok na sa aking work pero ano nga ano siya puro files lang na binigay sa akin then yun nga lang challenging kasi puro sa telepono yung mga recording ng vocal so okay pero may yun lang mahirap wala sa comfort zone pero may natutunan bago so yun yung nakakatawa mm-hmm. ayun lang maganda diba yeah, when we were making kwento backstage right um, I was actually saying that this pandemic has taught us um, how to adapt and, you know, learn new things, learn new ways of not just living our lives, but learning new ways of how to do what we love to do. And yeah. since the world has changed, we have to change along with it. Wala na yung um, magkikita tayo sa studio, tapos jamming, jamming lang. Hindi, ngayon, email na lang yung tracks, di ba? O kaya yung, like, parang sinabi mo, Angie, vocals na lang yung vocals via telepono. So yes. we have we've had to pivot, we've had to figure out a new way to do things. And it's quite interesting because with this pandemic, um, you know, and uh, basically all our live shows, all the recording sessions have stopped um, in the way that we used to do it. We found a way to continue. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. if you look at all the releases last year, guys, and daming na release na bagong music that was recorded and mixed and mastered and released during the pandemic. So that really is a testament to our industry na hindi tayo huminto eh. You know? And grabe yung, grabe yung output. Ang daming, ang daming output ngayon. Let's hear naman from JR. JR, how are you doing just during this pandemic? Yeah, okay naman. Actually, mas maraming work ngayon because nobody's playing shows. So everyone's just writing. Kasi like, alala ko, before the pandemic, ang nahihirapan mag-schedule yung mga ibang artists kasi laging may, may show, may show, may show. Tapos ngayon, parang, tara, book tayo studio, whatever. So, <laughs> yan. Mas, mas marami nagre-record ngayon, actually. Oo, oh, kasi walang, walang concert, walang bargain, oh, walang, yeah. walang, walang poste na, ay, hindi ako pwede Friday kasi nasa ano ako eh. Yeah, walang exactly. Ano, eh. <laughs> 
And yeah. I think it's I think it's great because you know more people now you know, in terms of the artists, right? It's given them a chance to write more and explore more because they don't have to deal with the grind of gigging. I'm sure they, you know, miss the gigs, but I think this is a a good um, way to explore how we can push not only the industry but our own creativity in the studio because yeah. you know we can do whatever we want we don't have to worry about yeah. oh, can, they, can they play this live hindi ko alam kasi kailan babalik yung live hindi natin alam so that's that's the fun part right yeah. Audrey, Actually, Audrey oh go, sige Angie go ahead yeah it's it's time to ano, to do a hit song alam mo yun wala ka ng lusot eh. alam mo yun gawa ka na ng hit song kasi wala ka namang gig alam mo yun wala kang excuse Oh, so i challenge mo yung sarili mo. Gagawa ako dapat ng hit song. Tama. That's a that's a good way to think. That not don't oh, just yeah. write songs, write a hit, write and record and mix and master and release a hit song. Mm. And Audrey, Audrey, how are you doing? We've been together <laughs> for a year doing this show. Happy anniversary, then, Jamie. Happy anniversary, Audrey. <laughs> but the thing is you've been you've been busy like, you know, after you do this show, You've been busy doing, you know, your your Berkeley school, your online classes, you know. How's that been going? Um, it's been going great. Um, I think I'm busier, like JR. <laughs> I'm busier now than I was pre-pandemic. Because pre-pandemic, you know, you have the weekly gigs, and then the rest of the days, you know, chill ka lang, like, you know. It's like also what Jer said, writing music is more prevalent now. Like, what else are you gonna do? So for me, naman, like I joined offshore um no pandemic, so that's more work for me. And then must yeah, I focused more on the studio, studio work, trying to find work. Like it's hard because walang masyadong work coming in, so parang medyo actively looking for work ang, ang ano ko ngayon so yeah but been good uh been safe been healthy so good. that's that's great <laughs> that's always good and that's let's talk course. let's talk to this, the the person who is the most safe amongst all of us because he's all the way up in the mountains <laughs> but how are you your your pandemic cuento is the most amazing because na na naabutan ka ng pandemic sa Sagada dahil may show kayo doon at hindi ka na bumaba. <laughs> Not so, kamusta safe. naman? Kamusta naman? Um, it's amazing, terrifying, but say best is humbling. I think um because I was stripped off everything. So um we we had to sell burgers, you know, and it's kind of weird to do business in Sagada if you're not from here. If you oh. get what I mean. You know, and it was just cool to be good vibes with everyone. And it's, we somehow survived. You know, and there. Um, it, it's a long story, but to cut it short, it's just like the science just appeared to you when you need it the most. And just all you have to do when you're out of your comfort zone, like what Sir Angie is saying, is just follow the science pretty well. There's nothing complicated about it. So that's the humbling part. And, and I don't know, coping up became very simple. It's an adventure. We're lucky it's a very open and safe, clean place. So just really thankful. That's the whole pandemic story. F- fucking thankful, man. I mean, <laughs> wow, what, what fucking luck. Thank you. You know, what, whatever still happened Why I'm here. Thanks. That's it. I'm. I don't. I don't get it. I'm here. Thanks. That's that's my pandemic. Well, I think <laughs> I think that's I think it's fantastic that you made the decision not to come down from Sagada. That takes a lot of, you know. I'm sure you guys sat down. You're also lucky that you had your family with you when you were there, when the lockdown happened, and from selling burgers, eventually you had your gear shipped up there because that's this is now your life. And you're still able to do what you love to do. How do you get your how do you how do you how do you do your sessions in Sagada? How do I but, do my session? Um yeah. 
first it, it was difficult because I had no equipment. I was stuck with the bare bone backpack gear. Yung event namin had all the gear complete for a studio, but pandemic happened, it, it all went down. And I was oh. left with my survival kit gear. Juno knows this. I saw him. I, yeah. I always have a safety gear that just in case plan Z fucks up, I have plan A, B or something. Oh. Um, how do I do my sessions? The one highlight was uh, Katagarado and Kakoy doing um, sessions at home. And um, the whole gig was, how do I do this creatively? Um, it just really sounds like a home recording with all that hit his. But somehow it's still point A. I send it to her. She reacts. She tells me with all the nice adjectives the way she is. It's like <laughs> reading letters again in a digital wave, just faster. Oh, yeah, I know. yeah, that's right. Faster. You take it by context and you just ask him, what do, I, what do I need to do here? You send another version. You know, maybe you, you do mix one. After two hours, you have mix 27. And they, you ask them, <laughs> just pick somewhere there. I'll go back and edit 77. And you're done. It's, <laughs> it's very pragmatic. I mean, yeah. If there's any word. How I do I do my sessions? Very pragmatic. I have a Bluetooth speakers. I'll check there. Then eventually, um, some stuff came up, and you know, there. <laughs> yeah, so nag nagkaroon ka ng setup na don, uh, unti unti. We, I want to do a shout out to uh, to uh, to our viewers here, um, saying hi to Alec Pulido. Hi, Alec. Soki, Munar, Juno Obandas on the show. Yeah, man. We're gonna get it. We have a director's uh, episode lined up, so. I think si Juno pa lang, two hours na yan eh. Uh, Ellie, saying hi to Ellie. He's watching also. We have uh, Wesley Vitan. Um, we've got oh, si, uh, si Paul Libid saying hello to uh, Madam Audrey. Ayan no? si may, may comment dito si Paul eh, nakakatawa. Na idol ka daw, Kuya Angie. Idol ko ng bata pa lang. At naka-shorts lang ako. Paul, naka-shorts ka pa rin ngayon eh. <laughs> Nagsasama-sama tayo sa shoots, nagsu-shorts ka pa rin eh. <laughs> so it's going to be it's it's quite interesting. What the reason why we invited you on for tonight's show because you know, I've worked with some of you. I've met some of you. Um and it's it's funny because when you're on work mode, you never really get to ask the questions that you know, I've always wanted to ask um you know, certain people whether it be an, uh, a musician, an artist, a sound engineer, a director. Um, one of the main questions that I want to ask you guys is, how did you get into this? How did you get into audio production? Um, it's not something that is for everybody. And when you get into it, you guys have made, you know, great names for yourselves, um, you know, behind your, be, behind your control desk in the studio. So I'm just wondering if I can, you know, find out how did you get into it. Let's start with JR. JR, how did you get into audio production? Well, next start yun, I just really wanted to record my band. Okay, tapos it sounded really, really bad. <laughs> so, <laughs> anyway, so I got this eight-channel interface. There's the drums sound really bad. So, so parang I just figured out how to make it sound good. So. Uh, alam mo yun, parang from there, naging nerd na ako, uh, going online, checking out magazines, tapos, uh, till eventually naisip ko, hey, I could do this for people, and, and. <laughs> so, yeah. And that's how it started. That's are you, how it are started. You, are you happy being on that side of the recording booth? Uh, uh, being an engineer, yeah. <laughs> Kasi like, when I'm, I'm on the other side, just playing drums, Pa parang everyone's everyone's looking at me. Everyone's <laughs> everyone's just listening to what I'm doing. Parang I'm happy here, just playing, uh, pressing record and whatever. <laughs> <laughs> it's also different when you're sitting down. I mean, like you know, I don't know if you guys, like you know, some of your viewers may not know. I was also a sound engineer in Hit Productions. Um, back when back in the '90s, when it was Pro Tools version 1.7, guys, 1.7, as in. You know, I had a lot of outboard gear because a lot of it, I couldn't even save my mixes because we were going off an actual mixing board. 
And it's funny that when you say that, you know, Jerry, it's, you know, as, as I, I don't play an instrument, so I'm a singer. So I w- I've always been curious. I've always hated the way my recorded voice sounded. So when I entered HIT, I tried to figure out how to make my own voice sound, you know, um, okay to my ears because, you know, you're very critical of your own stuff. Eh? And I hate the sound of my own recorded voice. So my first adventure into that, into sound engineering, was how do I make my voice sound good to me? How to mix it? Mm-hmm. And, you know, that's a process of elimination where you get you just get things wrong more than you get things right. But I guess that's the that's the adventure of getting to know your gear, getting and getting also to develop your ear. I think it's very it's very um, unique to sound engineers because you have to constantly train your ear um, when uh, you're uh, w- when you're doing your thing. Um, Pat, how did you get started in audio production? Oh, uh, maybe the, the same core reason was. Um, same as JR's, uh, I, I wanted to record my band. That was, of course, we wanted to get to it in the raw and stuff like that. And, uh, mm-hmm. and um, <laughs> I got into it because um, I, I was pretty advanced with having equipment um, when I was young. And I really experimented more of like combining a hip hop song and a rock song using a mini disc. And oh, um, you can change things and call it yours or whatever, make things. And um, I, I saw it as a necessity during college because everybody had no, you know, kids had no money to record to, you know, big studios and the, the word indie was creeping in. And I said, okay, I'm, um, I'm going to help more friends after my band. And that's it. And that's how it's, that, that's how all the, 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 the entire journey started. Most probably, like okay, I'll be the guy who's gonna press the record button. So yeah, you, know, you okay? So that's the second time that you guys have mentioned this. Okay, Jer mentioned it. You mentioned it. You know, it's far more than just pressing the record button. Okay, <laughs> let's don't give the people the wrong impression that that's all you do. Oh, I I have a finger and I press record. It's much more than that. But before we get into the nitty gritty and the details, right? Audrey, I want to know how you started getting behind the studio. Um, well, okay, so actually, funny story because fan now ni Sir Angie. <laughs> That's how it started because our band back then, we my first like um experience in a professional studio was with Sir Angie as a band. So, no witness ko yung you know that big console, all the faders, and sobrang badass lang tignan ni Sir Angie. Like, eh. So, I would just observe. Like, I would sit around and you know, ask questions here and there. Oh, Sir Angie, ano ba yan? Yan, kamusta? You know, like, just just being an observer. Tapos na, the band disbanded, and I ended up being a session guitar player. So, it was out of mind for a couple of years, the corporate took a couple of years. And then um, I happened to be with Ellie, who has um, back then his studio, na, it was called Bunker. Mm. So again, like I was doing with Sir Angie, I was just in the studio like, oi, papress, <laughs> papress ng record, ganyan. But um, I guess... Yeah, record man. Yeah, kick. Anyway, so si ano si Ellie was also like, parang oh sige, I need to record something. Just uh, tinuruan niya ako, oh, do this, do this. Eventually, I got so addicted to it na parang nag apprentice ako dito. <laughs> Nagtagalagay ng mic, tagaayos ng kable, and I'm super OC, so I love that stuff, right? Parang cleaning the studio, like rolling the, like now OC pa ako, paano yung roll yung kable. Eventually, um, I think I got my first big um, assignment with June Lopito. Kasi Ellie had a meeting and nag-apprentice na ako and kailangan niya record si June. So he was like, okay, go. Ikaw na mag-record niyan. So from then on, parang tuloy-tuloy na. 
like that was 2018 medyo noob so yeah that's how it started I, I think like it's it's funny how you say you know you started like you know way like, everybody starts out by pressing record <laughs> and uh, it's always that. But can I do it? Can I do it? Can I press the red button? Okay, the red button. Mm, okay. Yeah. And yeah. it's funny because you know you from cleaning the studio, um, you know, sorting <laughs> out, you know, putting the mics, and then you know by by doing those little things. I mean, everybody starts out somewhere, right? By doing those little things, you figure out when you are putting the mic in the holder. You're also learning where to place the mic, how to angle yeah. the mic, what, yeah. what you know, what you're picking up. I mean, when I started in HIT, they had me cleaning the banyos first. I had to clean the banyo. <laughs> and then, uh, before I even sat down behind the studio, I, I cleaned the banyos. I got to know the industry because most of the time it was advertising. So I was working in an advertising post-production house. And then I had to sort, I had to clean out the, the stock room. I had to organize all their sound effects on their CDs and all that. All before I even, you know, sat down behind the console. And back then, it was a combination of analog and digital. So the digital was fairly new. So um, Dennis Cham, who uh, is, the, is the sound guy of Hit Productions, he taught me first on analog. And then when I got behind Pro Tools, I'm like, oh my God, and Because I'm not literally splicing tape. Hindi ako nasusugatan. You know, I'm like, wow, I can splice it on, on the screen. It was the most amazing experience, but that's how you start. You know, you start out by figuring out where to place the mic, how to, how to uh, you know, if you're recording vocals, what makes the artist comfortable. Um, and it's interesting to see that when you guys started, it, it was as if you were, you know, you were interested in it, you were curious, and then you fell in love with it. Yeah. It's a falling in love. It's a slow falling in love with, uh, with the process, with the cables, especially if you're OC. You're like, oh yeah, I'm gonna really fix the cables, and then an artist comes in. Tapos, naging Google hen. Oh, bakat ang gulo ng kable ko, shit, de ba? Okay. Ito yung gusto ko. Ito yung matagal ko nang gusto ng tanong kay Angie. Pero sir Angie, how did you get started in audio production? Wow. Ano yung tanong mo pag kami fili filapan ka na digitally yung Yung kanyari yung birth year mo, yung... Uh, <laughs> ang tagal lang mo. Ang tagal kasi, di ba? Mahaba. Oh, <laughs> well, di ano, siguro talagang mahilig ako sa music or mas ma- or mahilig ako sa sound nung bata ako. Then, uh, uh, paano ba? Then, ang mama ko kasi nag-work sa 99.5 RT nung araw. Eh. Mm. So... So, doon ko, ko, doon ko na rin nakilala si Mike Pedero when I was 11 years old. Uh, kasi siya yung station manager ng RT that time. So, doon pa lang, na-picture ko, ang ganda yung studio. Ang ganda yung ambience ng studio para sa akin. Alam mo, yung mixer, yung ano. So, yun na yun. Then, may ina ako sa school eh. Alam mo, may ina ako sa school. So, electronics lang yung, yung kinuha ko sa Don Bosco. And then, is doon sa program na yun, kailangan ko ng OJT. So, nung mag-OJT ako, sabi ko, ma, pwede bang mag-OJT sa RT? Sabi yun. Hindi, hindi, ano, dahil kita doon sa, sa kaibigan ko, which is yun na, Mike Pedera na, sa tracks na. Mm. And wow. that's it. That's it. Nung mapasok na ako, 1988, which is as a, uh, ano lang, OJT lang, ano na, na-trap na ako. Sabi ko, may ganito palang lugar, may ganito palang trabaho, may ganun. Yun na, yun na yun. Then, then kahit wala akong ginagawa doon, alam mo yun, lahat, hindi na sinabi mo na naglinis ka ng banyo, or, or, or ganun din ako. Nag, wala pa kasing masyadong delivery nung araw, so ako yung bibili ng pizza nung araw. Oo, oh, so, correct. correct. O, diba, yun, yung, yun yung, ano, said. Then, Yun na, siguro after that OJT na two months, sabi sa akin, uh, pag-graduate mo, sabi sa akin nung ano doon si Mike, sorry. ano, balik ka na dito. So yun, doon na nag-start and then tuloy-tuloy, apprentice ako for two years, hindi parehas mo, hindi ako umuupo sa board, nag-observe lang ako, kung may tanong ako. Yun, uh, and those times din yung ginagawa sa tracks, puro jingles lang ni Mike. Mm-hmm. Kasi nasa ads din yung trabaho niya. So, Yun, hanggang sa um, naging client ko si Odette Quesada and Boji Dasig. Guro in my 
almost second year ko na sa tracks and then yun si actor sila yung nagbigay ng break sa akin to mix a song yun na yun yung album nila so that's it trap na yun no marinig ko sa radio yung ginawa ko parang ang daming mali pero ano uh, daming mali pero <laughs> Yun, yun na yung pala, yun na yung trap, alam mo yun. Kasi gusto mo nang i-improve yung narinig mong mali. Eh. Yun na yun, yun na yun. So, yun, 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 yun ganun nag-start. Ganun nag-start yung, ano. It's so, it's so interesting when you, when you make, when you constantly are making mistakes. And, you know, nung, nung train niya ko, um, I was, you know, syempre, feeling ko, rock and roll, finally, nakaupo ako behind the console, di ba? And then you have to figure out how all these buttons work and what they can do for you, what they can do for the artist, what they can do for the sound that you're, that you're after. And then you realize that it's not just what sounds good to you, especially when your training comes from advertising. Um, it's funny because you're dealing with so many clients, you're dealing with the product, how, it, you know, how their image should sound like. So, you mo to research yon. Like, naalala ko, yung, yung ginagawa ko, yung mga super wheel na ads, yung mga PLD na ads, may, may, may parang may identity sila. So, kailangan pag-aralan mo. Mm-hmm. And when you go into, you know, from advertising, when you're doing jingles for 30 seconds, it's so easy to mix, di ba guys? 30 seconds lang. And then when you go from 30 seconds to your, full, for your first full-length album or your first full-length song, doon mo nakikita na, wow, ang tagal ng playback. Kasi yung unang experience mo, 30 seconds lang eh. And then biglang, okay, oh, four minutes. Tapos buong album, ibang, then you have to see the album in its entirety. Um, I guess the, the point I'm getting at is, how did you continue to train your ear in terms of managing uh, the style of the sound that you're after? Like Sir Angie, when um, when you listen to the al- you, you when you mix your first album, di ba? May idea ka ba kung anong sound ang gusto mo? Um, well, ano ka sobrang influence ako ng 80s eh. So, wala mo yun. yun. Yun agad yung pumasap sa akin yung first time ko mag, uh, mag-mix ng music. And yun, so... Kompleto yun. Gated uh, reverb drums, uh, delays, you know, which is, y- 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 yun kasi yung listening ko that time. Mm. Yun, y- yun yung ano ko. So, yun. Doon do- do nag-start lahat. Doon do nag-start yung ano. Yung... Then, uh, nag-evolve syempre noong 90s when parang ano yan eh, parang lumabas kasi yung Nirvana. Uh, before ang tunog ang lalaki, di ba? Yung mga uh, uh, yung mga glam rock ang lalaki ng sound eh. Uh-huh. Biglang biglang biniga si Nirvana, biglang pinarinig yung art ng intimate sounding na dry talaga, di ba? So isa na naman 'yon, parang wow, hindi minimalist pero ang ganda, alam mo So actually hindi to mitigal, yun, yun yung yun yung hanggang ngayon, hanggang ngayon. Yun, Yun ang, yun ang interesting. It's, it all sound. It all starts out by the sound that you're used to. So depending yeah. on what your influences are, yun yung mm-hmm. unang mix mo eh. Like dun ako na sa hit na parang Jamie masadong rock and roll yung mix mo para sa PLDT ano ba? Di ba? Uh, gawin mo namang medyo family friendly, di ba? Yung yung yung, yung mga ganun. Uh, We have a comment here. Oh, I miss you, Patman. Si Jonoy Danao says hi to you, Patman. Because shout out siya ngayon. Yeah, oh, Pat, yeah. So Pat, I want to know what influenced your what what sound influenced your first mix and what was your first mix? What was your break? Your 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 big break. Maybe it's maybe professionally or first on the, on a print with a label. Maybe it was uh, uh, mayonnaise, maybe and. Um, pupils nasaan ka but the thing is uh, I, it's always a yes man job so put the microphone there i i, I don't know I, I made so much mistakes i i uh, the thing is what i do is just put the mic listen to the monitors 
if it's sub, there's an equalizer or something I could move move a knob and it sounds it does something. I was not looking at that. Well, I was a number, no math mm-hmm. at all. It's it's me touching something and them all of a sudden says don't touch it or yon. Somebody says reacts. Then uh-huh. I stop and that's it. I don't make it any other complication than I press record button. <laughs> Maybe at the very early times. Then, then at one point, um, siguro nung natapos na yung album with, with, with these two, for, for Maynes, Louis and Sancho was producing. It was a... But but I already worked with Maynes at home. So I sort of, I knew how to record the band or whatever. But working with professionals at the first like okay this is how they would want it it's always a yes man's job but in pinaka first first school in a studio like with a drum room or anything was a band sleepy heads and nolly aurelio holy wow man. that was a good, wow. good spam for first two clients then um they're, they're on um donoy and everyone i um I, I just kept saying yes. So as long as wow, it gets played on the radio, sure, why not? Yes, yes. Sponge Cola came in, yes. But the thing is, you know, it in the end it didn't matter. It's like, wow, it gets played on the radio, people get happy. Fuck law, I won't take law. <laughs> I'm gonna quit that. <laughs> what were you supposed to be a lawyer, Pat? I wanted to be. But the thing is, it's not if you be a lawyer, you make more people sad. So I'd rather but music na lang kasi you would pretty much make people sad anyway but at least it's printed on vinyl or on tape or on digital not on fucking paper or in digital that they would research to make more people sad gusto ko yon gusto ko yon tama ka doon your work has essentially like you know um you know the the work that you guys do um, in in uh, getting a good sound for the artist when it gets played on the radio, when people buy the album and bring it home, it basically becomes, your work becomes ours. Like as a music fan, all the albums that I've bought and play at home and, you know, either cry to, laugh to, sing along to, have sex to, you know, all these songs are a product of your work, you know? And yep. it's amazing that what you guys do um has given like pat said has given the world so much happiness and i think that's so important because we we never see you guys and if you don't read the cover of the cd or the vinyl or the cassette we won't know your names and i think it's very important because you were instrumental in delivering um not just the quality of that recording but in your interaction with the artists in the studio, you are part of the creative process. I, I, I understand there are some there are some sessions na taga press lang talaga kayo na record, okay? Pero may mga sessions din kayo na may input kayo eh, uh, that you actually get to have a say na hindi sana ganito yung tunog ng drums sandali ah, o oh, patunog yun mas maganda o oh, you touch a knob and it's different, right? How much say um, do you guys have in the studio when you're working with an artist? Uh, Audrey, let's go to you. Odds, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Okay. Can you hear okay. me? Yeah, we can hear you. So let's yeah, go to sorry. you. How much say do you have when you're when you're a sound engineer and you're working with an artist? How much say do you have with an artist's sound in the studio? Um, well, I'm very opinionated kasi. <laughs> so sometimes, <laughs> kahit hindi tinatanong sinasabi ko. Pero kasi, I would be remiss if I don't tell them there's something wrong. Mm. Pero I, magsasalita lang ako pag talagang, like, kunyari talagang wala sa time or ano. But like, um, perfect example would be a partel. Because they were also the first band I mixed and and yeah wrote some songs for 
also. So the songwriting process and the the recording I was also doing. Um, so it was very collaborative. So I would say all might be better here or like this. Pero I try not to impede the art. If that's how it, you work, then, you know, go for it. Um, I like to make sure that the, the artists are comfortable. So I don't have much say. I say... Hala, naghang na si... Yeah, okay. So you, you froze there for a bit. So that's, oh, a, that's a good. That's a good, that's a good. That's a good thing. That's a good thing to. Uh, I, I'd like to touch on that, and we go to. Let's go to Jr. for this. In terms of like you know making the artist comfortable or figuring out what the artist's process is in the studio, how do you manage that as an engineer, uh, Jr.? Yeah, usually they have it all figured out. So most of the time, hands off all like creatively. Pero like mag step in lang like pag Mukha talaga siyang hindi nagwo-work. <laughs> something like that. And kung kunwari may producer, talagang I'm just pressing the record button. <laughs> <laughs> so if they don't have a producer, I mean, a certain mm -hmm. amount of trust must yeah. go from the artist to the person behind the console. Yeah. You have to yeah. trust them. So do yeah. you go outside of your, you know, do you go out of your way to make a, an artist comfortable in your studio? Well, as long as they're happy, as long as they get what they want, but like sonically, um, um, what, once they say that what they hear in the live room and once they come here in the control room is exactly what they hear there, I know I did my job, and that's that. <laughs> and do you do you do you find that you know in some instances when you're recording somebody, do you push the sound? Do you do you put your own take on it? Yeah, uh, I, I I put it to where I, I'm really comfortable, like where I know it sounds where good. Gets niya, parang hindi di lang kung ano yung gusto nila, parang kung ano gusto nila plus where I I know it sounds good. <laughs> Okay. Something, Ooh, like that. something like that. Right. Yeah, but sounds good because it's so personal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know yeah. I mean? Give me yeah. a personal stamp. Ko. stamp. Oh. So, yeah. So, so, if it sounds good to me, I guess, you know. That's the jumping off point. And then, and yeah. then tweet it. Yeah. Yeah. What about you, Pat? Have you gone out of your way to uh, yeah. to make an artist Many comfortable times. in a studio? Many times. Many times. I mean, I, it's it's more of being invisible and just going ahead, doing it, being a step ahead. It, be it putting a mic there right away and just hitting record, no matter what what's plugged there. As long as you don't mess with the mojo, if you have to put a butterfly chair for them to sit down, if they have to record lying down, if they want to use the bathroom and record it. If what, 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 especially if it's a label or anything, it's a yes man's job. You want you want five amps, sure bring. But what comes with it? Me, me, I don't know. I always tell some na parang pwede lahat, but in the end, hindi pwede lahat. Eh. <laughs> mm. But let's do everything anyway. We'll mix it anyway. I mean, that that maybe because I'm a digital boy, but um, the thing is. I saw it more or more of an advantage to be with the band when when especially when they want me to produce you're happy i'm happy in the end will it make me cry you know if if, if it doesn't make me cry i don't think i've done it. secretly I, I need to cry in a song um if, if i can't like if at least a tear or a goosebump i think I'm, you know i don't give a fuck. i'll save that mix that's the beauty of digital and just hop and mess it up again until they say tangina no nangyari dun sa mix oh, meron ako mix ano <laughs> you know that's that's just it but again stepping into i don't my advice from Ellie before was he said um happen mo yung gusto ng tenga mo I'm sure i don't know what's in between that but sure if you don't like it but if you do like it, then let's use that. 
no nothing personal you know Damn. i'm i'm here for the output yeah, yeah it's 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 usually when you mix something okay so i'll mix my mix we'll mix your mix and we'll mix a combination of both our choices after you you know may take notes diba? after you take notes okay i think this song needs a little bit of body you know, etc etc and i think that that certain amount of trust in terms of being the go-to person who knows what the gear can do um in the studio really lends a level of i guess uh not only trust but also comfort with the artist and how um how you guys communicate like you said pat it's nothing personal so if your ears like it and if my ears like it then it's great you know as an artist but if i don't like it and you like it then Sorry? There all always must be an equal sign. Sorry, there must always be an equal sign. You know, I mean, I, I, can, I especially when you're producing and and engineering. How I wish I'm just sitting down, sipping, you know, something alcoholic and just producing and not putting a mic. I have a few <laughs> sessions even do that. You know, I'm not that kind of producer. I like dirty. You know? I'm going to go down there. <laughs> Forget. I made some people, you know, take off the headphones because, of course, something was fucking up. You, you know, we can't avoid these things. And you know, it, it's just fun. Again, being with the band, with everything. You know, if they fuck up, it's your fuck up too. You achieve something. You both achieve something great. Again, nothing personal. You're up mm. with an output. Mm. So there. Okay. So speaking of fun. Like, you know, you have you guys, uh, you know, I'm sure you've had a lot of experiences with different sessions. Let's talk about the fun sessions. Sir Angie, ano yung pinaka fun session mo sa studio? Ay, walang pinaka fun. Lahat kasi, lahat kasi masaya. Lahat kasi masaya. Kahit kasi may nangyari sa akin na may client ako na pinakaayo ko pero natapos yung season ng recording namin na magkaibigan kami eh. alam mo yun yun yung, yun yung nangyari kasi para sa akin if you're inside the recording studio kailangan may relationship kayo eh mahirap maging stranger sa loob hmm. ng studio matagal kayong magkasama tapos stranger di ba so yun yung ano and yun yung parang na, 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 nakita ko sa artist na hindi sila plastic pala, alam mo yun? Kaya pala ganun yung ugali nila, hindi sila plastic. So, pinapakita lang niya sa'yo kung sino siya. Alam mo yun? So, kung nasakyan mo yun, magkaibigan kayo. Alam mo yun? Yun, yun yung, yun yung, na, yun yung natutunan ko sa studio. Yun yung, hindi, hindi, lang, hindi lang lahat technical, pati yung paano. So kung baga kung baga kung sa social lang mas ma- okay yung social sa studio kaysa sa party eh. Yun yung yun yung mm-hmm. yun yung para sa akin. Yeah because you have to establish a relationship with the yes. people you're working with. Yes. Oh 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 oh. And ang sarap lang din pag naintindihan mo na sila. Alam mo na. So pag naintindihan mo so parang wala ka nang gagawing mali eh. Alam mo yun. Kasi naintindi na- naintindihan mo na sila. Yun yung which is Ibang iba rin nung nag-start ako kasi hindi man ako musikero. Hindi ako wala akong alam sa music, walang ano. So katulad ni Pat, katulad ni ni JR, ano lang din ako, hindi ako nakikialam ko ano yung sin- kasi that time nung nung nagsisimula ako talagang may producer. May hmm. producer talaga that time. So siya yung kumbaga sa 'di ba sa pelikula, yung producer sa studio, siya yung director eh sa kanya manggagaling lahat ng ng instruction lahat ng so yun yun na yun yung tumatanda na lang naman ako sa ako na lang na ano yun eh yung ah, okay uh, kailangan ko palang hindi hindi lang ano dapat pala simula pa lang intindihin ko na so isa yun sa naging solution ko makipagrelation makipagrelasyon ako sa sa client Kaya ang hirap din pagkabago yung client. Yun yung oh. sa akin. Ay, hindi mo kilala. Yun yung ano rin. Mm-hmm. May, may tanong dito si Marv Espiritu. Um, if an artist doesn't have a producer, 
do you guys act as one automatically? Is that an automatic presumption? Na kung wala siyang producer, kayo yung magpo-produce? Or ibang TF ba yun? <laughs> oh, okay. Ako pa. Sige, sige, Andy. Ang hirap nun kung walang producer. So, sa meeting pa lang, sinasabi ko na, pwede ba akong makialam? Hindi, hindi, hindi na ako, kumbaga hindi na akong sisingelo or ano, di ba? Pwede, um, kasi gusto ko lang maging masaya yung session eh, alam mo yun. Mm-hmm. Ang hirap kasi pagka hindi ka, ang sa akin lang kasi, sa tagal mo sa studio at di mo gusto yung narinig mo, ay mapapagod ka, di ba? Oh. Sobrang nakakapagod. So, um, isa yun kung, kung, kung pwede na mag-suggest ako, kinakausap ko talaga, mag-suggest ako. Kasi, during during rec- recording, lagi ako nagmi-mix. Lagi ako nagbabalanse. Recording pala, nagbabalanse na ako. Mm-hmm. Kasi, para sa akin, mas accurate yung mag- magiging decision ng artist ko. Ano yung susunod niyang ilalagay pag tama na yung balanse yung narinig niya. ba? So, yun, yun, yun yung, yun yung, yun yung ano ko. Yun, oo. Oo. Pagka... <laughs> Ano ba yung tanong mo? Sorry, nalimutan ko. <laughs> Basically, automatically, ikaw yung producer. Pero, I think it's, oh. it's interesting because you have to ask. You, like, like what Angie said, you have to ask, pwede ba ako makialam? Oh. <laughs> diba? Para lang maging masaya. Ah, sa, sa, sa akin kasi, eh, eh, ang hirap magtrabaho ng hindi ka masaya. Eh. Alam mo, hmm. yun, yun, yun yata yung nangyari sa akin sa pag-work ko sa, sa, sa studio. Kasi dahil gusto ko yung work ko, ang hirap magtrabaho pag hindi masaya. Hindi ba? Ang, ang hirap. Ang, hindi eh. Hindi eh. Hindi, hindi ba? Parang... Et, eto, may, may, may tanong naman si Jono eh. Um, kailangan ba trip nyo yung material ng artist in order to work with them? Oh, si Audrey is shaking her head already. Audrey, oh, ano, yung, ano yung comment mo dyan? Um, I, not necessarily. Not yeah. necessarily. Tama yung sinabi ni Pat din na yes man eh. Um, every time papasok ka sa studio, whether it be something you love or music you don't, end of the day, your job is to make it sound good. So, gustuhin mo siya. As in, mm-hmm. kung pwede mong pilitin yung sarili, sarili mo to like it, like it because you make it your own. So, when you have the output, dapat maganda, dapat proud ka pa rin. So, there's no bias or discrimination whether you like the song or not. 100% dapat. Lagi. Ako, yeah, because ako, I... ako. Oh, sige, sige, Angie. Well, sa, sa akin, masasabi ko yan kasi empleyado ako eh. So, so, sa business side, kailangan gawin ko yun. Lahat ng lahat ng reason to pay the bills gawin mo, di ba? Oh, <laughs> yung, 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 tama, tama. Yung ano doon, di ba? Pero ang nakakatuwa lang doon, minsan yung pinakaayaw mo, yun yung may matututunan ka eh. Ay, may bago pa lang nang yun. Di ba? Walang talo. Yung, sa experience ko, ah, walang, kaya masaya siya eh. Hindi, hindi, hindi ako nakaramdam na natalo ako. Or, so, mm. Because at the end of the day, you learn, you learn, you learn something new. Because, like, if your forte or your tastes run into rock, for example, and you're tasked to do a, you know, a really pop jingle or a pop song, na yung yeah. unang yung unang rinig mo parang shit hindi ko style to eh. Yeah, Pero gagawin yeah. mong style mo. Yeah. Kasi <laughs> ano mo yun, siya, eh. Eh, siya, ano siya, parang every time mo wala ka sa comfort zone mo progreso yun eh. Sa progress. progress progression yun sa'yo. Eh. Pag wala ka sa comfort zone. Eh. Kasi, sigurado, yun yun eh. Magaling ka na dun sa isa eh. Ito, ito yung next. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's nice. So, you keep on, you keep on pushing yourself so you learn more. And yeah. then, you know, you explore. The, the beauty of it is that you actually get to dissect um, music even if you don't like the music. You get to dissect it from the bones up, you know, mm-hmm. bare bones from the very, very, you know, unang version. Tapos, I can imagine also that you like what you said, Audrey. You have to learn to love it because you're gonna be listening to this song forever, forever, <laughs> a hundred <laughs> times at least, right? You'll be Actually, part of that. Song. 
Oh, oh you'll yeah, be part actually, of that naging, song. Naging experience ko yan. May isang song akong minix na hindi ko talaga gusto. But at the end, I'm humming it. And I am singing it. LSS. And then parang na-realize ko, Uy, okay pala ta. Ah. So yeah. kung napaganda ko yung tunog ng kanta na hindi ko trips, meaning I'm doing something right. So parang naging mm-hmm. mindset ko na parang, okay, even if I don't like this song, I'm gonna make it the best song ever. Parang ganun. So ganun dapat. Yeah, because, because can you imagine, okay, so you imagine if you start out the song not liking it, and then at the end of the sessions, you actually love it. Yeah. That means that it's a good song. It's a good song. Because you started out hating it, then yes. you love it. So maybe more people oh. will love it, di ba? Oh, oh, yun yun. And it's fun. It's yun sabi ni Sir Angie tama. Talagang you get in fun lage dapat mindset mo. Because may harapan talaga. May harapan kay. Actually, we were just talking about fun with. Juno Obanda, um, earlier today, I was I had a conversation with him that whatever you do, and I always was a firm, I, I am a firm believer in this. Now, whatever you do, you gotta have you gotta you gotta have fun doing it. And sometimes it's harder to find the fun, but you have to find the fun. That's the key. That's the key thing. Eh? You have to find the fun in whatever you do. And you know, nine out of ten times, actually ten out of ten times, if you're having fun doing what you're doing. Yung output nyo, mas maganda talaga eh. Yes. Kasi lahat tayo, lahat tayo masaya eh. Yeah. Di ba? Mm-hmm. And that alone in the creative process, in all its, you know, details, yung end result, you can actually tell, like when I listen to a song, let's like when you watch a, watch a film, di ba? Iniisip ko, siguro, siguro ang, saya, ang saya-saya nila sa studio nung nirinecord nila. Kasi mm-hmm. na, narinig mo eh. Narinig mo eh, that actually translates into the output. Di ba, Angie? Yes. Uh, actually, nasishare ako dyan at kasama ka doon sa sishare ko. No? Kasi nung nirecord ko yung body satwa, syempre, body satwa, si Jamie ang payat noon. Grabe ni Jamie noon. Grabe. Payat, payat <laughs> ni Jamie noon. Tapos, uh, na doon si Salito, na napakadaldal, oh. di ba? Si Salito. <laughs> Nakututusin na, ako, ang aim ko, dapat matapos na kami. Pero ang daming nangyayari na hindi kayo matatapos, alam mo yun, like nangyari kay Pepe lang, nung record namin si Pepe, ang tagal namin naghintay, so nakaset up na yung drums ko then sabi ko tagal naman ng drummer, ganyan, ganyan. <laughs> tapos, tapos maya maya si June sabi, ano Pepe, take na ah okay, eh si Pepe kasi nag ano eh, nagtotono ng gitara, so kala ko may gitara, yung pala pag tayo nasa likod yung stick, di ba siya pala yung drummer, siya pala yung hinihintay ko kanina pa man <laughs> That time, uh, ano ba? Hindi, hindi na... Pero pag iniisip ko, ay, tawa lang ako ng tawa. Sabi ko, nakakatawa pala yun. <laughs> <laughs> oh, tagal natin naghintay nun kasi he was just strumming on his guitar waiting for oh. us to tell him to drum. Oh. And we didn't realize, I didn't even realize, and I was the second engineer in that album, I didn't realize he was playing drums. So when Pepe actually got up to play the drum track that was for Blues on the Loose, yung last track ng Bodhisattva. Yeah, so yung, yung ayaw matapos-tapos na song kasi jamming nga, di ba? Oo, oh, oh, grabe yun. <laughs> And then, it's funny because after natapos nga yung song, eventually natapos yung song. So that was the first take. And then Pepe, who hadn't drummed in so long, kept on asking for more takes. And uh, nasa control booth tayo nun, Angie, eh. nagtingin na tayo. Take one, okay na yun. Maganda na yun eh. Mm. But since Pepe hadn't drummed in so long, I think he did something like 14 or 15 takes. And we all realized that he was just having fun. Let's let the man have fun behind the drums because he hasn't played drums in a while. But we all knew we were going to use take one. <laughs> you, me, and June. And Salito. We all knew take one was it. I've got another question here from um, Felk. Uh, Jerry, let's throw this to you, okay? As an indie musician, uh, nag-mix at nag-produce ng sarili ko mga kanta, may masuggest ba kayong resources para matutunan ang mag-mix? Lalo na sa mga tulad naming walang access sa akade- a- academe at walang kilalang professional sound engineers para matuto. Anong wala kang kilala? Ito, you know, <laughs> dami. On, apat sila dito. But do you, do you have any resources that you can direct this guy to? Uh, YouTube and just trial and error. Like, mm. 
trial and error lang to get your sound, the, the sound that you want. Tapos yung... Yun lang talaga eh. <laughs> trial and error lang talaga eh. Kung, kung di mo makuha, gawin mo ulit. Alam mo uh, yun. <laughs> di ba JR, it's, it's funny when you when you first encounter a mixing board, di ba? Uh, uh, siyempre, hindi natin binabasa yung manual, di ba? Yung, yung ako, <laughs> pag nagsisetup ako ng gamit, yung, isa lang yung, yung tinitignan ko eh. 110 ba to uh, to 20? Di ba? Uh, Para hindi sumabog. And then at the end of the day, when you plug something in and you're getting a sound out of it, you're like, what does this button do? Hmm. <laughs> Kasi, da, you, sorry, panahon ko, wala pang YouTube eh, wala pang internet. So that's how you physically learn it. Oh, anong ginagawa? What does this button do? Oh, that's nice. What does this button do? Oh, that's not so nice. You yeah. know, and then you use, then you learn what all the buttons can do in a certain combination. Pero ngayon, may university now of YouTube. Exactly. <laughs> Di ba? In Mismo. that sense. So, JR, in your recording sessions, like, have you ever encountered, um, like what Angie said, a song that would never end? Like, oh, ah. Uh, Alala ko lang one time na we were we were recording this 16 bar solo and we we took like I don't know maybe 32 takes at least basta we were recording that same 62 bar solo for an hour kasi hindi lang talaga makuha lang yung tamang feel or whatever so yeah ang hirap noon diba pag hindi ka happy like even if you're if you're happy if the artist isn't happy okay let's do it again yeah, and let's exactly. do it again. But yeah. I find that in my experience, more often than not, we go back to the first two takes. Exactly. <laughs> because that's when it's that's when it's then, fresh. Then don't magic. Eh. Oh, 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 yeah. Uh, See, that's exactly that's exactly when when um when we're in a recording to, to, uh, um, session with Jun Lupito, and he's notorious for layering his guitars, and more mm. often than not, like I remember when we were doing Bodhisattvas, uh, Sir Angie, meron siyang. Ay, Kalimutan ko yung kanta eh. Pero naalala ko yung, yung Pro Tools window ko. Talagang magsuscroll pa ako. Ang dami niyang ginawa eh. Tapos yung pinaka-tedious na part ng process is mamimili ka ng mga parts kung ano yung gagamitin. Tsaka ang dami. But more often than not, the magic is in the first two takes or in June's case, right Audrey? It's the first take. Right? Oh, sinasave ko lang yung, ganyan. Oh, and then, oh, save, tsaka mark. Yan, yan ang gagamitin mm, yan ko. Yan. Diba? And then everything yeah. else is just icing on the cake. That's the cake. Ito, yung mga ibang mm. mga layers niya, icing lang yan. But, have you had an experience in a studio with a song that never ended? It, uh, yeah, never release. A lot. Really? <laughs> 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 mga archives yan, <laughs> mga archives. <laughs> Well, I think I have one by by some you know some homies that is enough to make you cry. Ah, ito na pala, may ganun eh. And I, I love soloing the vocals. And sometimes, you know, may mga sessions na, you know, you just it's just vocals and guitar, never really finish. And uh, treasure, all of a sudden treasure during these times. Everything is treasure. All the archives are treasure. So I don't know. Sorry. I, all of a sudden, I zoomed out. When because I have a hard drive. One thing lang dumating na hard drive sa akin and I listen. Uh. I I post mixing weird stuff, and sometimes I went back to John Noyce file. All of a sudden, Facebook said you can't do this because the label is not allowing you to just play vocals. <laughs> when when when. When Pepe died, I have a recording of this the, the Dubai sessions. I just played the solo guitar. Warner Brothers cut it off. How, how wow. can you all own a 12 bars blues? Good algorithm. Text getting great. Anyway, it, I don't know, man. It, it, it's it's kind of it's kind of crazy how 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 these things are happening. Now, archives. I hope I I could have saved some hard drives, mm. you know. Johnny's good at rescuing hard drives. <laughs> what's interesting anyway. with the outtakes, with the, what's interesting with the studio, you know, in studio work, is that, you know, um, most of the general public only hear 
what you release, right? And if they could only hear the other takes or the other versions of songs, of the songs that that was eventually released, but iba yung version na yun, di ba? Only the sound engineers or the people in the room would actually know or can chart the evolution of a song. Nung nag-umpisa yun, ganito yan. Tapos yung na-release, totally iba. So sometimes, um, you know, archives are very important because when you... Um, release uh, the bonus tracks on certain uh, albums. That's when you really hear the evolution of a song. Um, we're going back to the comments. There are a lot of comments, a lot of questions in the comments here. Inevitably, a gear question came up uh, from Mark Chongson. Oh, ito na, gear na to, guys. Gear. Do you recommend the pre-Sonos Aris near-field monitors for mixing and mastering for home studio setup? If not, what is the best monitor for you? Yan. Gandang question yan because that's your, guys, that's your lifeblood. Ano yung, ano yung favorite monitors nyo? Let's go. Audrey, start na yan. What's your favorite <laughs> monitors? Are, um, they dire- are they directly behind you in, in your video? <laughs> um, yes. Here. Um, I like the, obviously, yung NS10s. Pero uh, lately, I've been mixing a lot sa uh, Oraton sa mono um that that for me is um a good test of the mix eh. so actually madaming monitors may shit monitors may mono monitors may studio monitors you can't just have one but yeah go to for me is the ns10 you go angie and then go to mo monitors well um Yung, yung, yung question kung doon sa sinabi niya about monitors, kung mm. alam mo sa akin, siguro kung ano yung makaka-inspire sa iyo to mix, kung ano man yung monitor na yan, yan ang gamitin mo. Alright? Isa, yun yung masasabi ko. Mm-hmm. Ngayon, ako naman, dahil doon na-train yung tenga ako, kaya yeah, NS10s, yun yung, yun yung, yung ano ko, and then uh, may aura tones din ako. Pag ganado ako mag-mix, aura tone muna. <laughs> bago ako mag ns mm. And then, pagka alam, pagka alam ko na yung mix ko pagka tapos na, pagka gusto ko na siyang ilakas, which is NS10, pag nilalakas mo, piercing eh. So, doon mm. ko na, i, doon ko na, i, ano ko na doon sa malaking speakers. Doon ko na siya i, ano. So, parang, uh, uh, hindi kasi ako nag-mix ng may, ma- ng may mastering plug-in sa master bus eh. So, parang yung malaking speakers, siya, siya yung mastering Parang siya yung pagka-sunish ko dyan, ah, ito yung tunog niya pag-mastered. Mm. Pagka-ganoon. Then, saka pala ako maglalagay ng mastering plug-in. Parang ganoon. So, yun. NS10 pa rin. Yung doon naka, doon naka... It's not the best para sa akin lang. Karamihan sa mga bata, ano to, crappy sounding speakers. No? Yeah. Pero doon, doon, doon na nakatono yung... Yung tenga mo eh. Oo, oh, oh, so... yun na eh. Since, ever since, mag, napasok ko pa... Oh, ano mapasok ako sa recording studio NS10 na eh. So, mm-hmm. What about you, JR? Uh, honestly, le- learn lang yung speakers mo. Kung what speakers you have, learn them. Mm-hmm. Tapos si- uh, yung question na to is a budget question. So, answer ko with get a good pair of headphones mm. for the budget. Yeah. Tapos learn them. Kasi at least with headphones, wala kang pinaproblemang reflections. Hmm. Like, it just goes directly. And, na, well, nakuha ko lang din yung kay Andrew Shep, so. <laughs> <laughs> Mix with the masters. Grabe yan. Actually, uh, VR, wala akong, wala ako kasing skill to mix on headphones. Ah, iba siya. Gusto ko rin, gusto ko rin matuto, no? Pero, uh-huh. uh, sinubukan ko eh, pero, ang, uh, iba. Eh, ama, iba. Oh, malab now. Every time patukinggan ko na siya sa speakers, Malab na eh. Hindi siya oh. rich funding eh. So, doon ako medyo, oh. sorry ko, hirap ha. Matagal-tagal pa to ha. So, <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, parang, <laughs> uh, yun yung ano doon. So, medyo, which is, so, sobra doon, doon din ako nung mga kay Andrew Sheps kasi ang kahit yung shifts niya eh from, from a big format ngayon. Oh, in the box. to in the box. So, galing. Ikaw, Pat. 
Favorite monitors mo? The, the pre the pre Sonos is fine. It's clean. You can work with it. But aside from my favorite, learn how to cast. If you're getting the pre Sonos, the next question is, or whatever you get, learn how to calibrate your speakers. Because whatever it is, it somehow gives you a ballpark figure of what loud is. Because how to calibrate your speakers using pink noise? Mm -hmm. Any speakers? But for a favorite, yes, I did acquire the NS10. I went to the NS10 club just to, it really just does something that doesn't other spe speakers. The Yamaha HS show something. KRK, I love them. The Focal experience really yeah. gives you something behind your head. Um, the problem I've with the focals, the problem with the focals, is that it, you know, it, it costs an arm and a leg and a kidney. <laughs> but the thing is, if, the, the thing is, you have a homeboy that has it, you know. And, hey, can I check my mix there for five minutes? Thanks. Oh, uh, you uh, Exactly. Oh. <laughs> the thing is, if you're an engineer, some EQs get stuck in your head how you're listening to this high def room then you bring it home or something anyway mm -hmm. no 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 favorite they're all awesome for you know they all spent time and energy and creativity and people listening and listening if their speakers work but the thing is calibration is always key yeah. to appreciate any speaker so. yeah yeah and then you have to learn yeah not only cal to calibrate your speaker but also to train your ear with your speaker so that, you that makes a lot of sense YouTube it makes a lot of sense. Yeah, the University of YouTube, man. Everything's on YouTube. You can learn anything on YouTube, right? Thank God we have those uh, resources now. Okay, so uh, you know, going going away from the gear because we can get lost in gear for the entire <laughs> night. I want to know if you guys have if you guys have any horror stories. Like, if you had to pick one out of your entire experience, you know, behind the console. Would you have a horror story to share us of a recording session? Horror stories? Panong horror stories? Uh, horror stories. Yung talaga... May multa daw yung uh, studio. Bad experience? <laughs> oh, yeah, bad experience. Na parang you're pulling your hair out already at this mix. Or at this recording session. Meron ba kayong ganun? Oo. Oh, ako yata yung yan. Kasi matanda na yun. No? Sa dami ng pinagdaan. <laughs> oh, Angie, gusto mo ba i-share? Alin, basta yung artist na to, siguro nag-start kami ng 9 o'clock, and then uh, 9 o'clock p.m., and then we ended at 7.30 a.m. Wow. Uh, wow. Those those were the times na ganun, di ba? Yun yung mga uwian sa studio nung araw. Then, then yun, siyempre, bata pa ako, and then, yes, ma'am, yes, ma'am, yes, ma'am, and then, as in, para wala na lang, ano, sinunod ko na lang siya. Para hindi na mahaba usapan. And bata pa ako nun. As in, 21 years old. <laughs> Tapos siguro, the next day, nakita ko pa rin siya. Alam mo yun, nakita ko na naman siya. Parang, parang 2 p.m. Alam mo yun, parang ulitin daw namin lahat. Ah, <laughs> umiiyak ako. Umiiyak ako. Hindi ko pa alam paano makipag-deal sa ganun that time. Uh -oh. Umiiyak pa ako. Alam mo yun. Ayoko na yun. Ayoko na. Kasi... Sinunod naman kita eh. Hindi ko alam ba't mo gusto ng ulitin, di ba? So, <laughs> so isa, pang isa pang marathon session na, ah! <laughs> eh, oh, yun na, yun na. Yun, na, yun ang mahirap pagka yung medyo natututututo ka na kasi alam mo na yung ayaw mo at saka yung gusto uh -oh. mo. Alam na yun, yun, yun. So, mahirap na makipag-deal dun sa ayaw. Oo, <laughs> uh -oh, true. So, yun lang, yun lang. And then, ano, yun na. So, so once na, nung ano na, nung magkita kami, so, hindi na, hindi. Buti na lang, ano, kumbaga, sinaportahan ako nung ni Mike, parang, hindi, ayun. Hindi na. Oh, hindi na, hindi na tayo tatanggap ng booking. Sorry, this person <laughs> <laughs> is, yeah, is making our engineer cry. Huwag na lang. Well, al al alam, mo yung, alam mo yung effect sa akin, di, siguro isang buong linggo yun, na pagka na, nasa studio, pag may narinig akong, Boses ng babae na nabibigla ako. Kala ko siya. Alam mo yun? Wow. Ganun yung PTSD. Oh, yun na yung effect sa akin. Alam mo yun? So, hindi. 
Well, I feel you. I feel you. I feel you. There are some sessions I've taken also na gano'n na parang, ha? Nandito si gano'n? Biglang si Cleve. Uh, <laughs> uh, I, have, I, I have a cold. My ears don't work. <laughs> yung gano'n. Di ba? Eh, di ko mga bata pa ako, narinig ko na yung salidumay, pero, ah, sorry. Yun lang. Nag-slip? <laughs> <laughs> there we go. There we go. What about Are you, you Audrey? Woo! What about what about you, Audrey? Do you have any horror stories you have? Um, you know about your sessions. If you can pick one, uh, one, siguro may isang recording session ng vocals na yung artist sobrang confident. As in, sobrang confident. Tapos habang nag-record talagang wala sa tono. Um. Pag naalala ko yun, like, hindi ko alam kung paano sasabihin sa kanya na, um, <laughs> na as in, parang, um, okay, can we try that again? Tapos parang siya, oh, parang okay naman, and I'm like, anong gagawin ko dito? Um, <laughs> yeah, yun yung horror story ko. As in, and I had to mix it. So, katakot-takot na melodyne. <laughs> takot as in, the worst pitch correcting I've ever, oh my gosh. But yeah, that's the hard. Lalo na confident siya, so it was hard to say na, you know, do it. Yeah, day. because you, you, yeah, you, you don't want to shoot down the artist as he's recording oh, his song. Oh, sige, Pero sige. Pero hindi lang siya aware. Oh, hindi lang siya aware. Oh, oh, laban na lang. Pero yung mga kabanda niya, ganun din. Parang, uy, pasabi naman. Parang, oh, de, <laughs> kabanda <laughs> niyan. Kayo, kayo, kayo magsabi. magsabi. <laughs> de, I, I, you know, like, I'm I'm getting paid to do my job and that's what I'm doing. But unless he himself asks me na parang, uy, okay na ba yun? Hindi eh. Sure siya sa ginagawa niya. So, let's do it. <laughs> I support. Pero oh, never my, again. Oh my never God. Never again. Okay. I can imagine the whole mixing session na parang, ah, I have to listen to this Ay, again. Um, umiyak din ako. Umiyak din ako kasi <laughs> hindi ko alam paano ko papagandahin. Ah, uh-huh. tapos ito, nung binalik, nung binalik sa akin yung mix, nung nagpe-feedback na, maayos yung pagka, uh, best ability, yung pagka uh, pitch correct ko. Sabi niya, ay, may flat. Tapos para ako, ah, siya. <laughs> <laughs> hindi ko alam ko doon yeah, um, sige flat, flat for you fine sige so, you know, medyo horror horror yun that would be a nightmare to do what about you Pat if you had to pick one horror story that made you cry in the studio what would that be I think that's what I meant like I have to cry before I, I'm done so <laughs> maybe he, I, and also, I hope I was not the horror story for them, because I was very frank with, with with some people, you know. And um, I think it's it's again nothing personal as being friends, but to you know. And and again, it's it's always horror when somebody doesn't like it. Mm. I don't want to be specific too much because again, I was closing my eyes. Which one was the horror story? I don't want to go back on some some homies that really had horror stories in the fucking studio. Like, ina, <laughs> let's just stop. It's incapability. Parang meron na paminsan para I'm incapable to fucking record, dude. Like, <laughs> what am I gonna do? But oh. then, de ba? Being being pragmatic, you take care of people. I think that's um, uh, yeah. what's all all about horror stories. Is again, I think it's the end where you become friends with some people after all of that horror stories. Being in the studio, I think being in the studio is a fucking horror story. You know, <laughs> being with an engineer, you don't know the engineer. You know, it, it's quite, yeah. you know, horror. it's quite horror. So I think, the, but there's again, there's something always good in the end about it relating to Sir Angie's. You know, explanation earlier. That's true. You know, I mean, like if if you stop and think about it, you know, as an artist, if you go in with your song, um, you if you don't know the engineer, if you don't know the space, you just find yourself there. Um, that could be quite uh, you know, a oh. horror experience for you because, you know, you have to you have to get a good emotion. Not not only are you expected to be technically proficient, na walang flat, diba? <laughs> and all that. <laughs> 
but also yeah. to give a good take where the emotion is there. If it's your song, then you're laying your heart out on, you know, wearing yeah. your heart on your sleeve. So it's actually it could be quite a nightmare if if mm-hmm. the engineer does not set a good environment yeah. in terms of getting the good take. Shampoo yung artist the mas maging defensive yeah. or you know hindi you, you that that's no way to get a good take. I think that that essentially is our job is to make mm-hmm. them feel so comfortable that they trust you. This is a safe space and mm-hmm. we're here to help you get the best take that you can possibly yeah. give. Yeah. You know, no actually, matter what ba, it takes. Actually, di ba kaya nyare sa mga producers, di ba like nyare Quincy Jones? Pag si Quincy Jones yung producer, hmm. may may sindikato na yan. Eh. Eto ang siguradong engineer niyan. Eto na yung hmm. like kunyare si si yah si Quincy Jones si ano yah si Bruce Widay niyan, di ba? Hmm. And hindi dahil dun sa team na yon nightmare yung nangyari sa BDG na ninety nine. Uh, 99 kinds of mixes yung song na yon ah. Oo. Nightmare right. yon kung hindi ka kung hindi mo ka team yung mga yan, di ba? Nightmare. Mm-hmm. Pero nangyari sa kanila and, and ang pinili nila yung mix number 2, di ba? After nila makapag-mix ng 99 versions, <laughs> di ba? Para mix number 2, di ba? Sobrang sobrang ano yon, sobrang nightmare yon. Pero dahil team Okay lang, di ba? Ganda. Mm-hmm. Pat, were you raising your hand? I, I was just uh, want to relate. It, it's nice what uh, Sir Angie pointed out and um, earlier. Setting up headphone mixes does solve maybe eighty percent of the battle of um, of anything. <laughs> you know, so I just want to add that to lesson horror stories in the studio. Mm-hmm. So when you listen to it on the, on the headphones, it eliminates, you know, the room. And you get a true. Do you get a truer sound if you're in headphones? It, it's more again making them comfortable what they're hearing. That's what they said. It's like true. mixing them with you know what they're hearing and what you're hearing is the same, and you agree with them. And again, maybe one key thing for less horrors is choice of words. You can yes. use on on how to direct people. Step. It's the hardest fucking part to believe me. It's choosing words on how to to get with people, how to not get with people, how to bad cop and good cop if you're producer engineer. Oh. And, you know, it's so hard. Um, but the thing is, again, knowing how to to get into their ears is is something you learn very hard. So, and that comes with experience. JR, what about you? Do you have any horror stories? Do you have a horror story to share with us? Oh, man. Uh, okay. Uh, there's this band that they recorded this their song top to bottom. Top, uh, instruments. Tapos na. Tapos time to record the vocals. The, vo- the vocalist couldn't nail it. So they decided to record everything again in a different key. Oh. Oh, so my we reco- God. We recorded everything in a different key. And and after we recorded everything, they were like, "I think this key needs to be in a different tempo." So we co- recorded everything down tempo, I, tapos in a different key, tapos only to end up now we're not gonna use that song in the album. So, oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> uh, wait, wait, it was fun. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah because eh, maraming. You know, Maraming kinita yung studio yo. Masaya yo. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. Maraming hours. <laughs> exactly. exactly. <laughs> See, that's the, that's the thing about, you know, if you're going to a studio, kids who are listening today, if you're going to go into a studio, have a plan. Pre-plan. You know? And if you do your pre production right, if you have a plan and you know what you want to do and you know what kind of sound that you want for this particular song, that helps a lot in terms of not only getting the best takes that you can get and the best sound you can take but it also helps the pocket because you are not spending on all those hours that you you know you're figuring shit out have shit figured out already and i think that comes in in a sense where in my experience you know in my limited experience as a sound engineer um i think when the when the artist comes in with a plan and things you know, don't go according to plan. Sometimes that can be a good thing. Yung mga happy accidents na parang, 
uy, dito tayo pumunta. But the happy accidents only happen if you come in with a plan. If you have no plan and you're figuring it out, be ready to pay for all the studio hours <laughs> that you're going to be consuming. Yung mga happy accidents. Um, do you guys have any... Okay, so from horror stories, do you have any happy accidents happening in the studio? If you you know, if you have anything to share. JR, let's go to you. Do you have a an instance where things didn't go according to plan, but in a good way? Uh, well, usually, pag, pag tracking solos lang and they're... Parang meron lang talaga happy accident sa solo. Tapos... Mm. <laughs> I like that thing. Let's use it. <laughs> Parang yun na yung pinaka happy accident siguro na isip ko right now. In tracking solos. Yeah, sometimes yeah. sometimes kasi when you know when a guitar player comes in and he has a solo in mind. Yeah. Sometimes it doesn't necessarily translate to the solo that he can do. Just like when you were saying when the vocalist didn't couldn't nail it and you had to do everything in a key lower. I'm like, "Oh my god, that would be a nightmare." And then you change the tempo, that would be a nightmare. But happy accidents come when, you know, when people are comfortable, when yeah. things are going according to plan, or you relax a little bit, and then all of a sudden you're like, wow, where yeah. did that come from? Exactly. Pat, what about you? Do you have any happy accident stories in the studios? A, a lot. I think I'm the enforcer of happy accidents in the studio. <laughs> I um, like that. Because... Um, again, relating to somebody mentioned that people come in with a plan, and I usually work with people with plans. But the thing is, um, if you're working with a band with a lot of plans and you have egos would have with all plans, the happy accident is actually make them all get along together, yeah. especially if they like yeah. taking different takes and everything. And, and it boils down really to like l letting them hear what works and what doesn't work and if it can be replicated live. So sometimes I, I learn na po patayuin mo, payakapin mo ng una. Oh, yeah, 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 that's true. And and all of these advice just come out and it gets imprinted you know, you hear the sound and it's like a the happy accidents become presets. Uh, one particular favorite I always do is cutting up all the guitars and leaving bass on the second verse. I always just do that after that. What if I fucking delete this part? <laughs> if they say yes, then that's it. Yeah. Ah, that's a good but trick. Because enforce, it, 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 enforce it if you think people had so much plans. I think that's that's some um, that's that's what I miss being in the studio. You know, you, you can if, if something's not working, you can enforce the accident because that's your job, you know. Yeah. Sometimes you don't have to tell them. Sometimes they tell you, they can't tell you, but they, they're looking for it. So just enforce it. Yeah, sometimes it come, it has to come from you. Dalaga. Parang, guys, let's put this song down. We're not getting anywhere. Let's take a break and come back with fresh ears or a fresh feel. Uh, shut muna sa labas. Diba? Minsan ganun. That can help a lot. Eh. You know, it's like it stops you from beating a dead horse. Trying to trying to stick to the plan too much also has its drawbacks. You have to leave room for that happy accident. So you couple in for Sir Pat. What about you, Odds? Do you have any happy accidents in the studio? Uh, yeah, I, I think some people that have recorded with me are can attest. To, like si Aldos yan. Aldos ba <laughs> or Sir si June? Um, minsan kasi pag tinatest out namin yung yung mic konyare sound check. I record them na agad. But what I tell them is, na sige lang, um, practice ka lang dyan. They think I'm not recording. Yeah. But I usually hit record. And then I play it back. And they're like, oh! Like, and that, and we were talking about that magic. Mm -hmm. We were talking about that magic. I always do that. And siguro, 8 out of 10 times, yun yung take na ginagamit. So, I'm notorious for doing that. And I do that once in a while, especially pag na feel ko na parang na tense na. Like, usually pag bassist, kasi hindi niya mahuli yung pulso. I'll be like, relax ka lang. Sige, practice ka lang. Practice ka lang. He'll just loop it, practice it, and I'll record it. And then he's more relaxed. And nahuli na namin, because he's not overthinking. 
So, like Pat, I guess he's right when he says that we have to bring that out. Eh. That's our mm-hmm. job to make it happen. So, yeah, that's what I do to create happy accidents. <laughs> so, more, more like basically, Audrey, you know how to record me because 9 out of 10 times, like the, the practice takes... The practice yun, yun, eh. is yeah. when I sing my best in the studio and then when somebody says, oh, take the tire, take, take, take diba? one. Diba? Conscious eh. Na nawawala yung boses ko bigla. Parang, oh, shit. Red button uh, syndrome. Ayun, yeah, yeah, yun, yeah, yun, 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 yeah. Ange. Ikaw, Ange, ano yung mga happy accidents mo? Halo-halo yung happy accidents ko, sorry. So, yung bang happy accidents ko? May happy na hindi happy. <laughs> Kasi may nirecord akong, nung first album ng Youth, nirecord ko sila Dodong. So, nag-adlib si Dodong, which is, hindi ko, alam mo yun, sige, adlib ka lang. Tapos, nangga sa napatayo ako. Tapos, hindi nakarecord eh. Alam mo yun. So, no! Ah! Yeah. Alam mo yun, so, so, yun yun. Happy, so, no. alam mo yun, hindi na siya happy kasi hindi ko na-record kasi may inulog niya. Oh, then may mga yeah. ano rin, may mga tipong albums din na tipong tapos na yung like ni Parokya ni Edgar, tapos na yung album, na master ko na yung buong album and then biglang mayroong mayroong biglang isang kanta na ihabol parang isama raw sa album, you know? So, nainis ako, yun, nainis ako, di ba? Sige, nga master ko. Yeah. So, ni-record namin ng Parokya ni Edgar, but pero yun yung Mr. Suave. And it's analog. So, wow. Uh, analog. So, oh, siya yung, siya yung Mr. Suave. So, parang puti pala na-record namin, di ba? So, <laughs> siya yung biggest shit dun sa album na yun, di ba? So, oh, correct. So, uh, iba-iba, iba-ibang klaseng happy moments. Yun yung ano doon. Kasi, so, kasi si Alexander, never, an- never ending happy moments. Alam mo yun? Kasi, oh. yung mga ganun, ano rin. Oh, okay, so going from happy accidents, ano naman yung mga pet peeves nyo? Ano yung pet peeve mo sa album? Kung, kung nag-record kayo, ano yung pet peeves? I mean, some people, it's about cabling. Some people, it's about miking. Some people, it's about, you know, it's about different things. Each engineer has their own pet peeve. Ano yung pet peeve mo? Umpisa tayo kay Pat. Si Pat, nakagano na eh. <laughs> nag na. Ah. I can feel your I can feel your anger na, Pat. Ano yung pet peeve mo sa studio? A hot, uh, maintaining a hot set, right? A hot set. The mics are good. Um, then all of a sudden, something moves. It, it just, <laughs> just, you have to do a retake. The, or the fader moves, the preamp. You, you touch all of a sudden the preamp. It's a pet peeve against myself. Butterfingers. Uh-huh. And uh-huh. some... Some people touching, I mean, I, na let go na yun. I learned how to let go of some people touching stuff. And all of a sudden, we have to do a retake and the, the sound doesn't have. Oh, kasi you know, iba. May nagalaw na eh. May nagalaw eh. If, if it's a hot set, let's, let's not touch it. You know? Or it's, a, it's equipment, it's working, it's great. Let's not touch it. You know. Just leave it. There, Just leave I it. I love my... It, the, yeah, well, but, but, you know, <laughs> but some people. <laughs> oh. Yeah, some people are naturally yeah. makalikot, man. I don't, I don't, yeah. I, I'm gonna or sometimes, like Pat, like like if if it's a hot set, right, and your mics are exactly in the same position, and then the guy has to pee, and then he moves the mic out of his way to get out of the studio to pee, and you're like, I got it just right, <laughs> and you moved it. <laughs> Yeah. That's, why, that's, that's happened why we to become me. engineers, I guess. Uh, that's why we become, we, we, we end up improving things. Ah, like mm-hmm. uh, ikaw, JR, what's your pet peeve in the studio? Uh, well, isa yun, like, pag may biglang nag-urong ng room mic. <laughs> 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 Pero ang pinaka-pet peeve ko siguro would be like, pag, pag may, may, may malakas na nagkukentuhan sa likod ko, while yun, tracking. <laughs> yun! 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 Mismo! Guys, I can't hear it. <laughs> yeah, guys, I need my ears to listen exactly. to the music, not your cuento. Oh yeah. my God, that's the worst, man. And, you know, the worst part, I mean, you know, coming from advertising, right? 
um, you know, all these cuentos happening behind you. And okay sana kung yung kwento is about the project or what's going to go on next or at least something related. Pero uh-huh. hindi eh. Pero hindi. So I'm like, guys, just shut the fuck up. <laughs> but, you know, in a, in a nicer way, like Pat said, yeah, choose your uh, words well. Exactly, like, exactly. Choose your words. But that's true. A lot of people don't think that way when they're sitting behind the engineer and you're, you're tracking or you're mixing and you're like, dude, I need my ears. So you got to be quiet. That's that's a big one. Audrey, yeah. what about you? Pet peeves. Just one, exactly. huh? Because I know, I, I know you're OC. So just one. <laughs> Combination ni, ni Pat, yung sinabi din ni JR, pero mostly yung sinabi ni JR na yung maingay yung band sa likod. Lalo na y- ako, I don't mind talking, people talking. Ayoko yung nagtatawanan. Yung, <laughs> yung talagang bursting in laughter. Na, and lalo na when I'm in the middle of talking to someone recording. Yeah. Kunyari, kausap ko yung vocalist or yung drummer, tas we're discussing something about timing, whatever, and you've got the whole band laughing, kulitan, like, dude, that kills me every time. Like, parang, work is work. We can play in the middle, yeah. like, five yeah. minutes when nothing's going on with the setups. Pero pag may nagre-record, ah, uh, yeah, that is my pet peeve. Yeah. Sorry, Sir Ange, baka kami dati nung ikaw nagre-record. Ayan o, ayan o, nag-apologize. Nag-apologize. Sorry. Guilty, Parang, guilty. Parang alam mo naman yata yung kusino. Ah, ah, ah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Ikaw, yeah, Sir Angie, yeah. may, uh, ano yung pet peeve mo sa studio? Ah, natin nasabi na nilang lahat. Siguro, hindi <laughs> lang nila nasabi um, tempo. Every time, yeah. every time may nare-record akong drums, yung sensitive ako doon, alam mo yun. Kung makinig kasi ako, di ako nakikinig. Pero pagka na pag ganun ako, may mali. Yun yung pagka na, na alam mo yun, relax lang ako, hindi ako masyadong tutok eh. Pero pagka na-istorbo ako, Yon, may mali. So, yon, tempo usually. Uh, um, Ganon. Oh, okay. Ang daming Nasabi tanong. Nasabi na nila dito. lahat. Eh. Ang, ang dami ng tanong dito sa ano. Sabi ni Ellie, ayaw daw ni Angie. No? Kasi <laughs> mixing, mixing session ng artist. <laughs> uh, oh, mas, mas okay sa akin. Kasi syempre, mas nakakatutok ako. Oh. Yung, yung, usual naman. Alam din ni Audrey yun. Ngayon sigurado na experience. Ah. Uh. So, para wala lang para wala distraction, di ba? Walang distraction. Uh, yeah, oh. Saka na mag-usap after. Oh. <laughs> Pag, and, some, and, some, and sometimes when you when the artist is actually there listening while you're mixing, um there's a moment where parang nagsi second guess yung artist sarili niya. Tapos biglang gustong ay hey, wait, I can do that better. <laughs> and, yeah. and parang yeah. sandali, tapos na tayo. <laughs> So, actually, may, may, may ano ako sa ganyan kasi naka-experience din ako na ako niyan, nag-mix ako, tapos sige, bahala ka, chong ha, i-mix mo to. Tapos, mm. uh, pagtaas ko ng isang fader, sabi, gusto ko yung tunog niyan, parang ano ha, parang ganito. So, napatingin ako sa kanya, sabi ko, alam mo, para mo akong pinagko-compose, pero isang letra pala na sulat ko, nakikailam ka na eh. Di ba? <laughs> so, so, di ba, tapusin mo muna yung kantang gagawin ko. Oh. Yun, yun, yun yung, ano, so, yun, yun yung, nice. Which is, nah, nagawa ko na yun, nung matanda na ako, ah, nung, medyo mas matanda na ako sa client. Oo. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> medyo, es- establish ka na, okay na, I can actually say that na. Ganda. Okay, before we get into the, the rundown of the 10 questions, I wanna ask you guys, if you had your choice and unlimited budget, unlimited budget, ha, Describe your dream studio. Holy shit. Hmm. <laughs> ano yung dream uh, studio nyo? Hirap naman. Uh, who wants to go first? Oh, man. <laughs> dream studio. That's would not it be... I know, but yeah, it's, you know, I told you there's no math, but the questions might be hard. What's your dream studio oh, with unlimited shit. budget? Would it, be, would it be a destination studio up in the mountains? You know, or in a castle in Ireland, you know, mm. or in the beach, uh, you know, in the tropics where, 
you know, the Rolling Stones can fly into your private runway and record <laughs> in an island. I mean, just imagine what would your perfect studio or your dream studio be like? Shit. Man. Everyone's quiet. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Because I'm not going to be able to get a place where I'm going 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 to get a place where I'm ang dream studio. <laughs> oh, well, naman yeah, eh. So, uh, Win playground naman kasi talaga yun eh. So what what uh, would what would your playground be like? Sige, I'll take it. I'll, I'll oh, answer go. it muna. Um, well, yung des- kung destination studio up in the mountains, definitely. Kasi kung sa beach, may potential mag-rust yung gamit. May, you know, sand and I can't with the dirty studio. I just can't. So, para mas madali i-maintain ang, ang up in the mountains na studio tapos malamig. Actually, si Pat's already there. So, yun. Oo nga eh. Diba, Diba, gilin si Pat eh. Kaya oh, tahimik lang si Pat, eh. lang si Pat eh. Kaya tahimik lang si Pat eh. studio ba? <laughs> yeah. Dito but na ako susigada eh. Totally somewhere cold yung gusto ko tas siguro my wife's laughing <laughs> hi me hi um yeah it's hard to say in terms of gear kasi hmm. never ending yan you'll oh, have a dream correct. and then once you get it you'll get another dream like so not gear but like i guess in place in size maybe i want a big studio na yung may magandang drum room. Yeah. Ha, na, you know, that, that would be uh, that would be the dream. And well treated, yung mga talagang perfect yung frequency shot. It's like, hmm. Yeah. That would <laughs> nice. be my nice big yeah. big studio up in the mountains. Up in the mountains. Where it's cold and it's yeah. perfectly tuned. Oh, JR yes. Yeah, uh yung perfect na drum room, I guess. <laughs> Pareho rin mm-hmm. Audrey. Like, big room. Tulad sa, ano, Sound City na drum room. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Something like that, most probably. <laughs> Yung yes. gritty lang and big. <laughs> Ikaw, Pat. I'm already here. Uh, Aka naman. Sabi ka nga ba eh. <laughs> Living the dream. Yeah. I'm <laughs> already I'm always a man with a plan. If I could just put Woomworks here, the same how I same remember setup. it, the same setup. There's a Neve board there acquired by, you know, JNY, you know, magically, all, you know, and just have everything restored from the day I started till now. If I could just have all my, all that gear and all the hard drives that fucking crash, that's my dream. <laughs> Here. Up in the mountains with you. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah. Up in the mountains. It's just quiet. Yeah. Uh-oh. Ikaw, Angie. Dream Studio. Um, ano ba? Uh, uh, hybrid. I, I want to have a hybrid setup. No? Mm-hmm. So, redundancy. So, I have a software ver- version and then I have a hardware version. Sarah. Yun yung gusto ko. Yes. Sa akin, no? So, yeah. big enough para maging laboratory. Mm. Ooh! That's it. So, Saka. it's just na mention na nila yung drum room. Good sounding drum room. And siguro designed by, ano, yari, known acoustician. Mm. Yung, yun yung, yun yung, yun yung, yeah. Kahit, in, kahit wala akong kliyente, alam mo yun, yun or hanap ka ng ano, gawa ka ng label mo and then hanap ka ng act diba? yeah, oh, mag invite ka lang guys punta kayo oh, diba? oh. record kayo dito oh, oh. solid sarap, sarap, yeah. sarap that sounds yeah. great that sounds yeah. great okay, we're going into uh, the section now um, of the show where we call the rundown where I ask you 10 quick questions and you can just answer off the top of your head lang. 
this is how it was designed. Okay? Off the top of your head. I've modified the that question is... a little bit because you guys are um, sound engineers. So the first question, what? this is a hard this is a hard one, huh? First question. What song has your absolute favorite mix in the whole world? What's that one song that you think is a perfect mix? Just one. Just one? Just one. Just one. Just one. <laughs> Inevitably, kakanta tayo. Ang oh. bagoy eh. Para na oh. bagoy. Oh, go, go, okay. Angie, go. Yeah. Yung, yung uh, sorry ah, kasi 80s kasi yun. Kasi hanggang ngayon, maganda yung tunog niya eh. Yung true ng Spando Ballet. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yan, baduy, baduy. Ang ganda. No, that's, that's, that, 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 that is ngayon, a great thing. Kahit pag narinig mo yun, ang ganda pa rin ang sound niya. Diba? So, baka hindi na alam ni JR yun <laughs> kasi ang <bakal. laughs> <laughs> Alam ka pa uh, naman. <laughs> uh, kay Angie, kay Angie, true, Spandau Ballet. Pat, what's your choice? Can, they, can, they, can I have a few more minutes to think? They can think <laughs> no, off the top of your head. That's the whole point. Off the top of your head. What's your go-to song for a mix? I think Great Gig in the Sky. It's, it's ah. I have to check it. If... if if I'm in a different studio, I have to check something on that range to let me know mm. where I'm there. I know how it's going to sound. Yeah. Great, great gig in the sky. That's Pink Floyd. All right. Nice. Yes. JR, what about you? Uh, the Killers, when you were young. Ah. Yeah. Good choice. Good choice. That's a really good mix as well. Audrey, what about you? Uh, it's so hard. It's so it's hard. So, it's so Pero, hard to answer the questions when you're in the show, though. No? Yeah. Kasi pag hindi ako yung sa show, parang dali naman sagutin yan. Pero ang now, <laughs> wala akong masagot. Um, I guess, uh, off the top of my head, siguro uh, um, Daft Punk, one more time. I don't know why. But that's such a good song. I like it. Off the top of my head. I'm sure may may isa pa ko later and I'll regret not saying it. Pero, <laughs> for now. Uh, okay. Okay. Question number two. Favorite local artist or group that you have ever worked with? Ooh. Mm. Angie. Mm. Ako? Ang dami ni Chris. Yung, 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 Cynthia. Yung di Alexander, of course. Kung, kung group naman, um well and and di, di ko masyado silang naging kaibigan pero yung yung dating kasi ng racer back sa akin di ba parang once nung first time ko silang marinig yung rock music hindi sa Pilipino eh, pero nung tumunog sa kanila tunog Amerikano eh, parang kanila eh alam mo hmm. so yeah i i, I like racer back then wolf gun nice oh, really? <laughs> nice yeah Oh, JR, what about you? Uh, to go to mayonnaise. Yeah. <laughs> well, kasi parang I was listening to them growing up. Then, nakapag drums ako para sa kanila. Tapos, na record ko din sila. So, parang solid lang na. <laughs> good. Good. That, that's good. Pat, what about you? Well, I had, I had really fun times with people, all, all versions of it. Um, for, for fun sake. Maybe that, yeah. You know? Sorry? Pupil. We didn't hear that. A uh, pupil. Nice. Yeah. Nice. For fun's sake. I love that. For fun's sake. Let's have yeah, them in the cool. studio. Iko odds. Oh, I'm biased ako sa Apartel. Only because they're my first. And they're all my friends. And I like their music. So Apartel wow. for me. That's that's a lot on the checklist, diba? Oh, totally. Friends. What Good a dream. Music and fun. I was lucky nice. to be part of that. Nice. Yeah. Okay, question number three, Taya. All right. Uh, what turns you on? Angie, let's start with you. Okay, what turns you on? Whatever comes on. Whatever comes on. Whatever comes on. Whatever comes <laughs> oh, lang. Wala naman censorship dito eh. Uh, uh, ano, uh, good guitar sound. 
A good oh, guitar yeah. sound. Nice. Pat, what about you? What 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 turns you on? Vintage gear. Ooh. Vintage gear. Anything. Anything unique or I know I I can have it. Something or all of it. Just gives me something. Go JR. Uh simplicity. Ah. Like like I said Going back to the killers, yung Mr. Brightside, it was mixed in 30 minutes. That was that's what went out into the world. And it was it became a hit. And it was mixed in a small eight channel console. So simplicity. Simplicity. Nice. I like yeah. that. Odds, what about you? Um semi busto sounding, but not bustos. <laughs> <laughs> um so pag bumili ako ng ba- pag bumibili kami ng bagong gear tapos i- ilalagay mo sa rack sobrang turn on para sa akin yung dinedrill yung gear tapos nagla-lock into place sorry ang <laughs> lahat <laughs> drilling <laughs> drilling sobrang makes bastos me sobrang bastos noon sobrang bastos mo <laughs> pero yung the, yung dinedrill yung gamit onto the rack tapos naglo-lock oh that's it like, tanggalin mo yung plastic ng ganun oh, <laughs> i like yes. that yes. okay next question tayo oh, oh we've heard about what turns you on ito naman what turns you off and let's start with you what turns you off um uh, bad tempo Bad tempo. Yeah, that would that would turn anybody off, man. Eh? <laughs> oh, Pat, what about you? Pat, what about you? No coffee. No coffee. Oh. Tapos may marathon session ka, tapos walang kape. Oh, no. Death. JR, what turns you off? Same. As a drummer, bad tempo. <laughs> True. True. And Audrey? Yeah, same. Kaya marami kaming skulls dito. Lagi kong gin na joke. Yung mga taong hindi gumagamit ng metronome. Yan ang nangyayari sa kanila. <laughs> <laughs> mga, mga skulls nila nandyan. Yeah, totally tempo. Yeah. Wala sa okay. akin. Okay, meron pang isa pala. Ano, Arange? Uh, bad breath producer. Ganun na yun. <laughs> bad breath, bad breath producer. Oh my god, ano eh? Sabi sa akin, kakausapin ka pa sa ano, tapos sabi ko, ano ba 'to? Kumakain ba ng tao ito? Sorry. Ni wasin. Lang, lang, lang. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> okay. Next question tayo. Uh, question number 5. Um, as sound engineers, you listen to a lot of things, right? Um, if we were to look at your, you know, whatever format you're playing on now, what what music you're listening to, what song are you currently listening to now on repeat? Mm-hmm. Mm. Angie? So ngayon, honestly, wala. Uh, I- 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 kung, ano ba? Noong napapatutok ako ngayon sa, sa dance, alam mm-hmm. mo yun, sa, uh, sobra akong kamote ako dun sa mix ng dance music kasi uh, yun, di ba, may aura tones. Kami ni Audrey may aura tones. Every, every time may kinig ako ng dance, hindi ko alam, ba't narinig ko yung bass dun sa aura tones? <laughs> Pero syempre, pag nag-mix na ako, ang hirap, pag naparinig ko yung bass sa aura tone, sobrang lakas na pagdating sa malaking, sp- so medyo yun yung lagi ko pinapanggan ngayon. Pero eh, kung ano naman, kung listening naman, oh, Pogi jazz or Pogi jazz. 80s. 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 Uh, okay. Pat, what about you? I, I've been listening recently to uh, Beatles Anthology 3. So mm. it, it went on repeat for this week. And um, yeah, that's nice. So raw. Nice. Fucking yeah. raw. Yeah, super raw. JR, what about you? Okay. Oh, uh, right now. Paulet on the time, see Biba Dubi. Biba Dubi. Yeah, yeah, she's uh, this Filipina in the UK. Tapos parang 90s revival with the music. Parang. Masa, you have to check her out. 
Biba Doobie. I like that. Okay. Yeah. I, I check that out. And Odds, what about you? What are you listening uh, to on repeat? Ito, la- classic. Lagi ko tong pinapakinggan. Lahat ng playlist ko, nilalagyan ko ng, ng song na to. To make sure na at least once mapakinggan ko siya. Um, ano, uh, he's so shy, the Pointer Sisters. Di ko alam wow. kung bakit. Wow. <laughs> Pero, ng bosses. Ang ganda ng, ang ganda, ang ganda ng yung song. That's a, that's a very unique choice. I like that. I like that. Okay, moving on. Next question natin. Um, if you had to choose one, Angie, what would be your favorite word? Favorite word? Meron ba? Meron ba akong favorite word? Wala eh. Wala akong maisip ha. Sorry. Sirit Wala. ako dun eh. Oh, sirit. Oh, no, no favorite word. Oh, Pat, oh, let's move to you. If you had no. one, what would be your favorite word? No. No. <laughs> no favorite word. No. No. Okay. JR? Favorite Wedding word. phrase. Wedding phrase. Oh, sige. Oh, go. Oh, one more. Or like one more thing. <laughs> one more. <laughs> <laughs> Alam ko na. Ano yung favorite word ko? Oh, no, Angie. Good thing. Good take. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Good take. Very good. Very good. Audrey, what about you? Um, was So, phrase then, pero hindi siya related sa mixing. Uh, may pagkain na. <laughs> may pagkain na. <laughs> may pagkain. <laughs> may ka- or like, Ito. may pagkain na sa table. <laughs> Ito, to, akong pisal to. No? Ah. Nung makasama ko yung General Luna, ako kasi malakas ako kumain, pero nung gabi sila, yung kunyari yung isang subo ko, Nakalima sila. Kaya <laughs> sa subo ko, limang subo na sila. <laughs> PG! Totoo yun. Totoo yun. Tapos nagtataka kami nila, Neil, na sa kaya nila nalagay yung pagkain lang. Di naman sila mataba. Di ba? Pero, <laughs> yun, yun, yun. Okay. Growing, yun, yun, growing kids. Uh, oh, may pagkain na is the best phrase ever. And yung, pan, yung favorite nila yung pansit sa motel. Yun yung favorite. <laughs> uh, <laughs> orchids. Orchids, orchids. motel. Oh, favorite pansit ever. Okay, yun, okay. Next question <laughs> tayo, alright? Yung fast track na to. Um, if you could record any artist, living or dead, local or international, who would that be? Only one. One artist to work with. Sino yun? Angie, kamo na. Wow. Grabe ah. Um, <laughs> Thomas Dolby. Ooh. Like good science. Uh, Yun. Thomas Dolby. Another good sounding music. Yeah. That's true. That's true. Pat, what about you? Oh, Kurt Cobain. Kurt Cobain. Nice. Yeah. Having him in the studio would be Interesting, at the very least, <laughs> di ba? Oh, JR, ikaw? Uh, the Who. The Who? Yeah. Nice. Okay. And Audrey? Um, Freddie Mercury. Freddie Vocals. Mercury. Oh, mag na Agree ba kayo kung Dave Grohl? Dave Grohl? Ay, parang pwede, just for, f- for oh. fun's sake, di ba? Dave yes. Grohl, pare. Dave Grohl. For, for oh. the coffee. For the coffee. Yeah. <laughs> For the conversation. For the coffee. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, for the jokes. Okay. All right. So, uh, mag one for the road na tayo. One for the road. One last question for you guys. What words of wisdom or advice would you give to anyone just starting out in audio production now? Ano yung mabibigay mo ng advice? Angie, let's start with you. Talaga? Ah, okay. Sa akin, um... Um, sa, sa napag-usapan natin ng saya, no? So, um, a- ako kasi dahil gusto ko yung ginagawa ko, kaya nandito ako. So, siguro ganun. Kung gusto nyo yung ginagawa nyo, tuloy nyo rin. Okay, mag, uh, okay mag-start na meron kang idol. Okay rin yun. Pero, uh, 
Igo, gawin mo rin yung ano yung yung uh, kahit ano kanya kung singer ka or or producer meron kang idol na producer drummer ka may idol ka okay din yun meron ka kasi kung baga magagawa mo yung gusto mo dahil dun sa idol ni siya, siya yung kung baga yung influence di ba um, pero dapat lumaki ka alam mo yun so instead of gayahin mo yung idol alam mo yun uh, try mong mas maging magaling kaysa dun sa idol mo tingin ko mas madaling gawin yun eh kaysa gayahin mo yung idol mo eh mm-hmm. Diba? Y- yun yung mas madaling gawin yun eh. Kasi hindi, never mong magagawa yung sakto yung idol mo. Hindi. Kasi magag God's gift yun sa kanya. So, iba yung, iba yung sayo. So, yeah, oh, so, tuloy-tuloy lang. Basta gusto mo yung ginagawa mo. Y- yung work na to, seryoso to. Oh, masaya to, pero seryoso to. Hindi siya yung tipong um, dahil wala kang magawa, kaya ito mo, gusto mo to gawin. Hindi siya ganun. Eh. Uh, magiging buhay mo to eh. In love, so. Nice. Thank you, Angie. What about you, Pat? Any words of wisdom or advice? Any, any song is like a home. So if you don't build it well with anyone, they can't sleep on it. So you got to make sure that home is down to the nail good. Nice. Nice. JR? Uh, don't stop learning. Kasi there's always something to learn. Kahit sobrang lit lang yan. There's always something to learn. <laughs> It's gonna help Good. you. Yeah. Good. And Audrey? Yeah. Say, um, siguro a combination of all. Pero like, don't be afraid to ask for help. Kung kailangan mong, kung may kailangan kang tanongin about gear, about mixing, um, There are a lot of resources. You can go online. You can take a class. You can watch mix with the masters. You can ask anybody, um, because that's the way you learn. Don't be afraid to ask for help. Yeah. All right. Wow. That's great. What a what a great conversation. I wish we had more time because I'm sure we have more cuento. But we're hitting the two hour mark. So guys, I'd like to thank you guys so much for taking the time. And coming out uh, tonight and uh, sharing your advice, your wisdom, your stories. And really, I'd like to thank you for giving us so much good music to listen to. So, maraming maraming salamat. Thank you so much, Audrey, salamat, JR, Pat, thank Sir you. Angie. Maraming maraming salamat, ladies and gentlemen. These are our sound engineers. Thank you very much, guys. Good night. Be good safe. Night. Please. Be safe. Night, Thanks, guys. Thank you. All right, that was JR, Audrey, Pat, and Angie. It was amazing because, you know, I mean, there, there's so many more stories that they could possibly tell. Um, it's, it's basically the tip of the iceberg, really. But what they've already shared is so important because when you're listening to good music, don't forget the guy or the girl who's behind the console having to deal with spaghetti cables, having to deal with noisy people behind them talking in their ear as they're mixing, having to deal with artists who don't know what they're doing. And they have to deal with all these challenges and make it sound great. And what we hear, what is released, what gets to us as a music fan, that's literally the tip of the iceberg and what we don't see is all the hard work that they've put into it and all the learning, all the experience, and all the horror stories that they might have to tell. We don't get any glimpse of that because what we hear is the finished product, and that's because of their hard work. So thank you so much to our sound engineers. That wraps up our show, ladies and gentlemen. But before we end tonight, just a few more announcements from Offshore Music. Anna Mori just released her lyric video for O Bleeding Hearts, and it's available on her YouTube channel and on Offshore Music's Instagram profile. Be sure to check that out. And Elisa Marie also just released her music video for five minutes on the Offshore Music channel, which just premiered today at 6 p.m. So make sure to check these two amazing artists out. We'd also like to thank our friends from Buenos Dias, Panaderia, and, of course, the Misty Mountain Cafe, premium blend coffee with the Milo Bond. It's the perfect combination in the world. And, of course, from Liquor.ph, it's time for a breath of fresh Aaron. Have you heard of this relatively small but getting popular and award-winning single malt scotch named Aaron? 
It's known for doing great wine finished barrels using X, Sauternes, Port, Amarone, and Sherry. These whiskeys will be sure to make your mouth water. Last week, I was drinking their Robert Burns single malt, which is partially aged in X Sherry. And man, what a great bottle to have. So make sure to check out liquor.ph to see what they have. It will not disappoint. And once again, of course, liquor.ph is also the exclusive distributor of this fine scotch. If you're not sure what to try, you can buy a bottle of any Aaron, and you can also buy a sampler kit for only 500 pesos and attend the Zoom tasting class by the crew of liquor.ph. It'll be informative, fun, entertaining, and you're going to have some good drinks on you only from liquor.ph. So thank you so much, everybody, for tuning in. I'm Jamie Wilson reminding you to please stay safe, stay strong, and stay sane. Keep on rocking and keep on rolling. And if all else fails, just let the music keep you going. And if you find that life has gotten you shaken up or stirred, mixed up or on the rocks, what matters most is that you take your shot. Thank you very much and good night. On the Rocks with Jamie Wilson is brought to you by Offshore Music. Go where the sound takes you.